cable is kind of like being on a leash. Well, of course, your first concern is low frequency. You're plugged in normally with a regular old cord with a hunk of metal between your base and your amp. It seems to be no problem. It never really had the low end that a cable would or a strong signal. And as soon as I tried this, apparently because it's digital, the signal is just com not only completely clean, but the frequencies are all there. It's just like low end, mid range, high end. It's all duplicate of the way the cable sounds. The most important aspect of it was the tonality. There's uh, almost no noise at all. There's no additional noise at all. And there's a lot of high gain on my distortion and on my amp. And the wireless going into that high gain was always a problem to me. So now basically I'm still just gating the basic circuit noise of the distortion circuit of my preamp. Nothing's coming from the wireless. As far as my gear in general, I've always been more of a fan of simplicity. Like even my bass amps, I just, I never was into the giant graphic EQs. It just, you know, just very minimal. And these are actually very minimal systems. And I mean, you basically just plug in and choose a channel, you know? There's six channels, you, sw you switch. Put it on channel three here, three on the pack, and it's that easy. I've used different techs o over the last uh, uh, couple tours, and uh, this is one thing they just don't have to learn anything at all about. They can just grab it. It's just a little problem with sound check. They just pop to different channels. I don't worry about it at all anymore. I go up, it's gonna work every time. It sounds great. It sounds as good or better than a cable in a lot of ways, you know, you don't have to, especially if you gotta do a long run. But it's been fantastic. Whenever people ask me about you know, some of the gear I'm using, I, I definitely always tell the story about how I had my little G30 relay system on the road and the other members of my band uh, had tried several different wireless systems and uh, they had trouble. You go, to, you go to different countries and you get, you know, you get uh, interference with other frequencies or just other, you know, you're playing on some of these festivals with hundreds of bands and you've got frequencies crossing and I never had trouble at all. I don't know how they actually do it. I, I'm not as familiar and conversant with it as I am with some of the other gear I play through. And that's good in a way, it's kind of transparent. I don't need to worry about it or wonder how it works. Just plug it and it does and it sounds great. And that's, uh, that's a fantastic thing. I like the freedom. No, no dog leash.